In today's video, we're talking about this little button, the depth of field preview button. I'm gonna show you what it does and how you can use that to your advantage. So welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about uh, this little button here, which is the um, depth of field preview button. It's, uh, it's usually in the front of the camera, right next to the lens release button. It doesn't matter what brand you use, that's typically where you find this button. It's a little bit of a confusing button because when you push it, it doesn't seem to do anything. Um, and so uh, depth of field preview button, what could it do? Well, if you, uh, in, using a digital camera these days, if you wanted to get a shallow depth of field, you would set your camera to say f2.8 or your lens to f2.8. And then so you would take a picture of the subject and then the background would be blurry. If you wanted that background to be more in focus, you would choose something like f16 uh, or f22 where it would close down the lens and uh, so it would bring that background into, into focus as well. Um, if you want to go somewhere in the middle uh, for the, and, and uh, let's say you wanted to go to like a five, f5.6, f8 because you wanted a little bit of blurriness but you didn't want too much. Well today that's very easy to do with a digital camera. You would take a picture, you would look at the picture and then you just make, uh, you make adjustments as required. But of course in the days of film you couldn't do that because you couldn't see your final exposure until you got that film developed. So they came up with this concept of the depth of field preview button. And what it does is that when you've got your camera set to say f16 you would look through the viewfinder and then you would push this button and what it would do that the lens would step down to f16 it would actually go down to f16 and then as you would look through the viewfinder you would see that the image would get dimmer because you're now letting in less light but you would also see the effect of the depth of field so you would actually be able to see what was in focus and what wasn't in focus and that's just the way that you needed to do it back in the in the film depth because there was no other way you couldn't see, you couldn't preview the photograph any other way of course that's a little bit uh, irrelevant these days because like i said you can just take a photo now uh, adjust the settings and then just take that photograph again or you can use something like live view where you're as you're changing the settings on the camera uh, you would be able to see the effects on the photograph itself. So this button is really a, re a little bit irrelevant, uh, which is the good news that I was talking about at the beginning of the video. That means that you can now reassign this button to do something else because you're unlikely to use it for as a depth of field button or a depth of field preview button uh, with a digital camera. It's just not really relevant at all. There's much easier ways to do that. So uh, you can then reprogram, in the, in the, in the, uh, at least with the Canons anyway, you can reprogram that button to do something else. You can change your uh, focus modes. Uh, you can make it change your ISO. Uh, if you don't like having your, if you've got another button up at the top and you're not happy with that one, you can just, uh, you can double, uh, you know, duplicate that, that setting if it's easier for you to reach. But um, you can put a new function on that button, whatever you like really. Uh, in the Canons, it's, uh, you would have to go in through to the, in, in the custom menus and you go into the custom controls and then you can reprogram your button from there. Uh, so that's it. Uh, hopefully that explains what that button does. Um, I hope that this was useful to you. If you did, if it was useful, please give this video a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.